Higher order conditioning is a type of learning where you start to associate new things with something you already learned. It's like learning to connect the dots, but with ideas instead of dots. How does it work? Imagine you have a dog named Max. Max loves treats. Every time Max hears the sound of a bell, he gets a treat. After a while, Max starts to get excited whenever he hears the bell because he knows it means treats are coming. This is called classical conditioning. Now, let's say every time Max gets excited, you give him a pat on the head. Eventually, Max starts to get excited, not just when he hears the bell, but also when he sees you getting ready to give him a pat. This is higher order conditioning, breaking it down. In higher order conditioning, there are two main parts. First order stimulus. This is the original thing you learned to connect with something else. In our example, it's the bell because it was paired with treats. A second order stimulus. This is the new thing you start to connect with the first thing. In our example, it's you getting ready to give Max a pat on the head. Real life examples. Higher order conditioning happens all around us, not just with dogs and bells. Think about advertisements. You see a commercial for a delicious burger. You start to feel hungry because you've learned to connect the sight of the burger with feeling hungry. Later, you might start feeling hungry just by seeing the logo of the burger company, even if there's no burger in sight. That's higher order conditioning at work. Why does it matter? Understanding higher order conditioning can help us understand how we learn and how our brains make connections. It shows us that our brains are always looking for patterns and connections, even in things we might not realize. Higher order conditioning is like building on what you already know. It's how we learn to connect new things with things we already understand. From dogs and bells to burger logos and hunger, higher order conditioning is happening all around us, shaping the way we think and react.